Here we have Japonicas, Japanese quince, also known as Kynomalies and Cydonia. Well, they have edible fruits and I've just picked them all recently. And today I've decided to wash them. I'm going to cook them up and make a beautiful puree, fruit puree. You can use them in apple pies or as a dessert fruit. They're nice with ice cream, yogurt, yogurt if you like to say that. And they're so fragrant. They have a beautiful scent when you cook them. They're so lovely. So beautiful. So fragrant. Such a fragrant fruit. They're related to, um, they're not, uh, uh, quinces and these are not unrelated to, uh, what are they called? Those little fruits with a strong smell. Guavas, yes. They're not unrelated to guavas. That's why they've got that strong smell, I suppose. Quinces smell too. When you have ripe quinces ripening on your windowsill, they give off a scent. I'm just getting the dirt off these. I'm going to cut them up carefully, take the seeds and centers out of them, and I'm going to stew them with their skins on. And I'm going to use them as a dessert fruit for whatever I like. That's interesting too, there's a slight oiliness about the skin. I've, I've noticed that before on a japonica. I'll see you again once I've cut them up. Now don't these cut japonicas look just like daintily prepared Japanese food? But I've only just sliced them in half. Aren't they so nice? But the stars have to be cut out because they're tough. They're tough just like the centre of an apple. They're tough just like the centre of an apple. Whoops, come on, focus for me. Use your intelligence, there you are. You see, they're tough like the centre of an apple. That star will get caught in your throat. It's too tough. So you've got to cut it out. Apart from that, the flesh is uh, beautiful. It's got more vitamin C than a lemon and it uh, can be boiled up like apple. Of course, we save those seeds in there because we might get a new variety of japonica, mightn't we? A different shade of pink. So cut the stars out and just use that green flesh. It's beautiful, so fragrant and lovely. I'm going to stew it, I'm going to poach it rather. I'm going to poach it now. I'm going to poach it as soon as I cut the stars out. Well, I've just spent 10 minutes cutting up japonica and there's lots of flesh there. I had to cut all the seed away and all the star from the center. Mm, it's very sour. Oh. Oh. Very sour. I'm going to add sugar to it and I've got a few more to cut. I'm going to make a sorbet, I think. Nice japonica sorbet. All those lovely green meats. I'll come back once I've made my sorbet. This japonica is cooked now, but it's very sour so. I'll just add a couple of teaspoons of sugar. Probably three is probably enough. It's very sour. And I could add a little bit more water to that. But it'd make a nice, well I could have it, you have it with anything. I could put it through a blender. I could cook it slightly more to just soften it a little bit more. It's very nice in apple pie or anything. I'll make it into a pastry. Make it into a jam, couldn't I? A lot of people like uh, japonica jelly, like medlar jelly. So that's that. Let's have a little bit with sugar on it. Mm, much nicer with sugar on it. A little bit more, I think, because it's as sour as lemons, basically. Mm. There we go. I'm going to have fun with this and use it. It'll last me a few days, won't it? Just for one person. See you then. Japonica blossom in the afternoon sunlight. <laughs>